Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel playing some more Minecraft The Return. As you can see, I fixed my end tables, moved those over to the side, and started working on the actual roof itself. I'm going to show you what we got going on here. Decided to use stairs. I think it looks pretty good. I'm trying to do basic stone stairs. And then what I'm using is some andesite blocks in the middle of it to provide a little bit of a, you know, a closing right there. I think that looks pretty good. That's what I'm doing so far. We got a bunch of creepers out here. There's like three or four of them earlier. Anyway, let's go show you guys what all I finished working on besides this little bit here. Can't go outside because there's too many enemies down there. We have a new roommate. I didn't even put out an ad for this guy. He just showed up and moved in. He keeps going downstairs and then getting stuck. Now, these guys are completely harmless unless you look at them and then they decide to get all pissy. But they do have a tendency to try and remove some blocks now and then. Uh, let's see. Our farm is doing quite well. Yeah, I know I need to clear a spot for the pumpkins because they have to have a block next to them. Same thing with watermelons, I think, grow that way too. But our wheat looks like it's almost completely done. We'll be able to get us a big stack of bread here. Uh, let's see. We're gonna not do that right now. Okay, so one of the things that I didn't even know about, and again, because I do read all your comments, is I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a stone cutter table in this sort of thing. I want to make one because I think that would help out quite a bit. So if I remember correctly, it's like that and like that. Stone cutter. Nice. Okay, so can I put you like right there? That works. Okay, so now if I have some stone, I can put you in there and this shows all the stuff and the things that you can get from it here. I'm not sure what the, hang on, let's do one. I want to see what the conversion ratio is. One stone block will give me one stone stair. Hey, that's way better than having to do it through the other direction. Heck yeah, let's do it like that. Bam, 16 stone stairs. How many other regular stones do I have? Let's see, I put a chunk of them. We got one there. I need a sorting. I need a sort button. <laughs> I don't, I swear there used to be a way to rapid sort a chest, but apparently not, or at least I'm too dumb to figure it out. That's awesome. Thank you guys. So I do read, like I said, every comment that you guys pose, I do actually read. So, um, Yeah. Wait, hold on. Here's a thought. Can I, I'm not sure if this will work out. M maybe. Can I do blam and then just, nah. I was wondering if I could just straight up do that. Now, something else you guys did mention too was to, let me see, do I have any more? I guess I only have just the one. Okay. That what you can do is you can just cook a spruce log or any other log that you get basically from the tree and it gives you charcoal. Charcoal is easier to find because you can just chop down the trees to get it and it burns as long as regular coal. So I thought, eh, I would at least give it the old college try because I've never used it before. So let's see, I put you right here. I'm going to get all of you cooking. Can I stack you? No, I can't stack you. All right, let me put a couple more of those, get some more stone going. We'll be good to go. Let me stack off a couple of these. I don't need you on me. Did I? Oh, I did have some more stone stairs from the last time I made those. Oh, cool, cool. Finally, daylight. We've not been able to sleep in like a couple days because this idiot's still nearby. Let me, sh hey, excuse me, pardon me. All right, so we did do some work on our mine, which is how we managed to get all the way down to this far, which is how we managed to get all of the stone that we have here. And it opened up into a, a small little cave. So I stopped here. I got down to this point and I heard a whole bunch of growling and groaning next to me. So I figured, you know what? Probably a bunch of idiots. Um, yeah, so we'll definitely do that. It's probably not going to get to that in this one episode. And I definitely need to put stairs all up in here so I can just run straight up and down these. I haven't put, you know what, one of the reasons why I don't have stairs right there is because this idiot gets up inside the house. And so what I've been doing is just kind of like trapping him on the stairs just so he'll stay out of the way. Just stay there, okay? He can't climb these and he's too tall to get upstairs, so he pretty much lives downstairs. I put the railing right here just to kind of make my life a little easier too. Uh, hang on. Oh, and there was one other thing that you guys show, uh, told me about that I did not even know that I thought was kind of cool too. So if we go blip, we can get a lightning rod and that will protect our house from getting struck by lightning. I figure while we're building the roof, it'd be a good time to go ahead and put one up here. So we didn't, uh, we, we didn't get a ton of stuff done over the, while I was away. That, uh. Okay, I guess that'll work. It looks more like a small antenna than a lightning rod, but eh, no big deal. So 55 blocks, I can't remember when I was doing this, how far up each one, I mean, how many total stairs it is. Let me put you like that. So this is kind of what I'm going to try to work on today, if we can get at least a big chunk of our roof done. 
it will, you know, I will be much happier about that and it'll look a little bit better too. I need to worry about, I'll do the, uh, the side railing. Dang it. Oh yeah, that's something else I did a bunch too. I was accidentally put it in the wrong place because I was looking, there we go. It needed to be kind of looking straight on here. Okay, seriously. Again, while I was doing this little bit over here, I did that uh, a few more times than I would like to admit. That is one of the things that has never changed in Minecraft is how annoying it is to put stairs down if you're just slightly looking the wrong direction it puts them upside down. Which if you're using for decoration, you can use these for like end tables in your uh, you know, your bed right there upside down upside down table makes a good little end table or upside down stairs, sorry, makes a good little end table and I'm okay with that as well, but I uh, don't necessarily want it to be upside down all the time and, and tired of accidentally doing it. So let's get some more work done on the roof here. All right, that's the last one. It's almost done. It's almost done. Let's go outside and look and see what it actually looks like. Um, I'll bust out the old sword here just in case. Make sure there's nobody around here. See, that's not looking too bad. That's not looking too... Oh, that's something else you guys had mentioned here. Something that I never even knew was a thing. Okay, so you can go up with an axe and right click. And it chops off the bark. And so you kind of get this different color wood. I don't know if I like that. I mean, I like that that it's kind of cool or not. But I don't know if I want to like that. I kind of like having the darker color down there. I don't know. That's kind of a cool idea. And thank you guys for telling me about that so that I even knew it was a thing, basically. But I don't know if I want to go about uh, having that as the color of my house. Now, one thing that would be kind of cool and I'm considering doing is if you get copper blocks, which I'm curious. Hang on, let me get you real quick. If I do, I think I just swap that out because I'm an idiot here. Hang on. So if I do like this, we get a full copper block, just like this. One block of copper. Can I do anything with it? I'm not sure. I can. Oh, okay. So I can use cut copper, copper slabs, copper stairs. So if I did like a cut copper, now this would take some resources. Ooh, it gave us four for it. Uh, so something I thought about doing, where's my shovel, would be to uh, use this as my floor down here. It might actually look kind of cool. Let's chop one up here and see what it looks like. Get you real quick and boom. See, that doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. I can always pick these back up if I need to. If I do it like this, it kind of looks like a tile. Now, also, copper does age. So after a while, the copper will turn kind of a greenish tint to it. You know, kind of like the Statue of Liberty. It used to be this color when it was made, more or less. So uh, we'll see. Let me get all of you, put you up here. We'll be able to finish this roof. 37 of those. That should be more than enough to finish the roof. Our roommate still... Every time I come over, he looks up at me like, Would you please put down another set of stairs? I can't get out. But the only reason I nudge him down there and leave him there is because when he's up here, he walks around, he, he goes like... And then just stands here. He, so the whole time I'm working, I hear the door open and close. He just like walking back and forth. Because he's three blocks tall, so he can't get out of the house. Yes. Oh. Well, hey, Mr. Teleporter, you cheater. Don't take any blocks off, Okay. Wait, did you do that again? You did. He finally figured it out. Uh, last time he randomly picked up a block and put it down here and made his own way up. Good job. Now, don't disassemble my house, please. I kind of like it in one piece. All right, so I need my dirt blocks. But anyways, yeah, so that's, that's what the idiot's been doing over here is just randomly teleporting in and out of the house and just being doing all the dumb things. And I know I can kill him. and that You got to kill him to get ender eyes or ender per... Wait. Hang on, it's either Ender Eyes or Ender Pearls. I think it's Ender Eyes. And then you can use those Ender Eyes to figure out, uh, you can use them as kind of like a, a waypoint sort of thing. They point you the direction towards the end portal. And then you have to have, I think, Ender Pearls and what is it, Blaze Rods, I think, in order to be able to make Ender Eyes and sort of be able to make the complete the end portal. I can't remember. It's been a minute. I'm kind of going off memory of the last time I actually went to the end portal and fought the dragon. And let's be honest, it's been a minute. It's been longer than a minute. What's up, Cal? 
See, eventually what I need to do too is I'm gonna clear out this back spot here, level this off and start putting some farm stuff back here. Like I could, I saw some chickens over there. So if I can get an egg, which I may have an egg, you can just drop them in the pen and boom, you have chickens. Okay, let me get you back real quick so I don't lose you. We got one lightning rod over here. Nice, okay, so this will be completed all the way up to here. We'll have our roof done. All right, I think that'll do just fine. Uh, let me see, go ahead and hop down here. I need to go get my andesite so I can finish filling in that one little spot over there. Where are you? There you are. Um, yeah, I guess I'll put you, no, I need to do like this for the moment here, okay. Don't be taking apart my house, man. And I didn't mean to plant that there. I'm gonna knock you into a corner and then plant bushes around you so you can't do anything. I could just straight up kill him, I know. But again, you know, he's kind of become my buddy. You know, we, we have talks at night when it's quiet, it's just the two of us here. So, you know, I don't want to completely be an a-hole and kill him, eh, not yet anyway. Um, okay, so last time when I filled this in over on this side, I could just jump down, land on the bed. It wasn't a big deal. If I do that on this side, it's going to be a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, hang on. I need to do, actually, I'll tell you what, let me just do like this. I can always reverse jump stack my way down if I need to. Okay. So would I have it start going like right here? I think it's like this. Try to do this without falling off my house would be just fantastic. Like that. And then we, yeah, we just stair step it up like this. And now we can use the remainder of our stairs. Uh, we might have enough to complete this little, whoa, calm down. This little spot here. Is there something on the ground over there? Oh, just the blocks I just knocked off. And done. Now I still got to do the this row here all the way across and then the part that peeks out over the edge of the house for the aesthetics aspect of it. But at least the top covering of the house is done skis. Uh, also, what I need to do is, uh, now animals can't, or sorry, mobs can't spawn on stairs, or at least they're not supposed to. And you apparently can't put, uh, torches on the side of the stairs. Let's put one right there, just for giggles. Lights up the side of the house, beautiful sunset. And this should keep everything from being able to spawn here. Now, once I get, I, they could technically still spawn in right over here, which we're going to work on. Getting. And I'm out of stairs. Okay. Well, man, hopefully I have some more cooking over there. Uh, I, okay. Let's see if I can do this without killing myself. Eh, not too bad. Hey, look, the pumpkins popped up here. Well, that's, that's nice of you. Give me a pumpkin. Oh, that's something else too here. Um, <laughs> I think it was the last video. I was trying to make myself a set of shears and I did a dumb. I, I did a full on did a dumb. I like this here. I'll show you what I did last time. So shears, I was going to make, dang, I need two pieces of iron. I thought I'd grab two here. Stupid. Okay. So what I did was I went, bloop, bloop, look, shears, I need to grab the shears, and I actually just clicked the iron ingot and brought it back over here. So now I actually have shears. That's fantastic. So I think if I have, let me see, uh, straight up a pumpkin, I think if I just do one like this and then a torch, or is it backwards? No, it's not like that either. I think I need to use the shears on a pumpkin. Hang on, let me, let me see if that's actually right here. Because you can make a jack-o'-lantern, basically, is all it does. I'm going to slap you right there for now. Put you in my hands. There we go. Okay, so now what you can do from here, can I pick you up? Is it still counted as just a, yeah. Okay, so we have a jack-o'-lantern. We put a, or we have a pumpkin. We put a torch underneath it and boom, now we have a jack-o'-lantern. And this actually works as a light source. Make sure we're clear for a second. We're going to put you right and we'll put you facing that way. There we go. Check it out. Lights up just as much as a regular torch does, but it looks pretty cool. So if you didn't know that, that's been around for a long time. I do remember making jack-o'-lanterns. It's just been a minute. So that's kind of cool. And now that we actually have our shears, hopefully we can remember next time to... Oh, oh hey. Calm down, dude. Wait, you're not... What are you doing with that? Why? 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 You big idiot. Stop taking apart my house. You're kind of an idiot. You're kind of an idiot. Maybe I'm kind of an idiot. I don't know. Uh, let me see. One more should do over there. Put you over here and boom. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. No, 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 no. No, let's not do that. Where's my... There it is. I picked the wrong one. 
polished stone stairs. We'll just go ahead and blip 26 of those, and that should be able to give us what we need to finish up the side of the house over here. Finish up the top part of the house, this little Eve thing here. Okay, so I'm just going to do it the easy way this time. And boom, our roof is done. Now we just got to do the little part sticking out over the edge here. This is, oh. well, that's what happens when you fall on your plants is you risk breaking them, stupid. And you don't get the stuff for them if you break them. See, can you hear the door just opening and closing? That's what I was talking about. Uh, oh wait, hold on, there's pumpkin seeds we got, from, hang on. We did get rid of both of those. Okay, so here's what I need to do. Let me get rid of you and you like this, there we go. Now, maybe it will grow right over here once they do decide to pop out. And you, I guess, could grow. I'm not sure if it'll grow right here. I'm not sure if it considered these level or not. If this block is considered above it, it won't grow up there. It'll just pop over here where it did last time. All right, so where did my wheat seeds go? Let's put you back over here and get you replanted. Oh, hang on. We got to hoe it up here. There we go. Also, thanks for everybody who was telling me about the what the compost does. It allows you to put like seeds and stuff in there and gives you bone meal. Now, bone meal is used to like rapidly grow things. All our potatoes looking good too. Bone meal is used to rapidly grow things, which you can use just regular old um, bones. If you get just a bone like this. I'm showing people as if they don't know this. Okay, you put a bone over here, you get bone meal. And then with bone meal, you just ra uh, right click on a plant and ta-da, it moves it up to the next growth stage. So that's what bone meal is used for. Also, I did get a little bit more string from a spider that randomly showed up so I can make a fishing rod and we can work on doing that. Now, uh, let me see, all of this wheat here, let's go ahead and chop all of this up. What I love doing eventually, when I get to a point where I can, by the way, I know you don't have to use a hoe to do this. You can do this with your hand, but I'm doing it because I want to. Get like you. Um, is to automate this entire process. You get more seed back here. I like being able to make a farm, basically, that I have some redstone. I can. It grows everything the way I want it to. Then I pull a lever. It dumps some water onto it. It moves all of the food and seeds into an end trough. And you can even do as kind of a sorting thing. Works pretty good, too. Get some taters. Now, I'm not sure if you get tater potato seeds back from these. I think you actually have to... No, I think you just get those back. I think you have to have regular potato seeds in order to be able to grow those. Wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Hold on. That was a, that was a dumb statement here. No. You, no, I don't need you right there. Let's see. Plant you like this. You just use the potatoes. Potatoes... I can't speak today. Potatoes are root seed or root plants, so you don't have to have a seed for those. You can just straight plant those as is. Put you, you, and you in there. We got a little bit of bread. We st we're still working through the berries. So that's why I'm not worrying about that food just yet. All right, so we have a little bit more stairs. I don't need the ant that anymore. I'm trying to get the roof done. We have a decent supply of copper, and I have some more raw copper over there as well. So that may be something I work on at the beginning of, or, you know, overnight basically is trying to get a lot more copper and then convert this to the floor. I may wait to see if this changes colors just so I can see what it looks like when it's done. That may be something I ended up doing. Okay, so I have nine stairs. Let's see. I think I need to jump back up here and try and get the edge pieces done on this thing. See if I can not fall off again. That'd just be lovely. If you hold shift, it'll keep you from falling off. Or not shift. I, I think it's shift by default. I changed mine to control a long, long, long time ago. And just left it that way for some reason. I don't know why I decided a long time ago that control used to be a thing. How many people played Minecraft back before that was a thing? And I know that sounds just like, oh, you played a long time ago. Congrats. Yeah, back in the early alpha, there wasn't a way to keep your... Dang it. From falling off of things. And so if you, I mean, like holding down crouch now will keep you from walking off of blocks. It didn't used to. If you were just walking too close to the edge, you just fell off. That's just the way it was. And how many people remember that? It made it so difficult to build because now you can just bloop over the side. And as long as you're holding crouch, you're good to go. But back in the day, it required a lot more effort. And there was a whole lot of times that we just... 
freaking fell off, you big idiot. I guess we'll get all of these blocks back. We got the one stair we need to finish that. There's no chance I can jump stack that up there without doing it wrong. I was going to jump back over here so that I could get all this dirt back. But no, I'm going to keep falling off, so I'm going to have to just keep using the same one. All right, hold down crouch so we don't fall off the freaking roof. But yeah, I remember when I was building those gigantic towers in my house, I don't even know how many times I freaking fell off of that. It was a lot. It was a lot. Okay, well, let's get these knocked down here. We don't need this many stacks of dirt over here. Good to go. That looks good. All right, let's have a look from this side over here. I think it's almost nighttime. Let's look over here just a little bit, see what that looks like. I think that looks good. I think it does look good. I'm okay with that. Now we just got to do the remainder of this little bit right over here, and we'll be done, skis. So that... Oh, yeah, I forgot. No. <laughs> Sucks to be you, zombie. Sucks to be you. Thank you for the experience. I'll worry, but obviously I'll get to building a library, a research center sort of thing eventually. It's not going to be anytime soon. I mean, we're only level technically 13 as far as experience goes, so I'm not even remotely close to that one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine more sets of stairs, and this part will be done. Okay, that's not too bad. And I don't have any more on me, so I need to get just a little bit more stone going. We'll be good to go. Do I have... Could you stop moving? You better not. Hang on. Seriously, what is your obsession with this one block? <gasps> Did he finally go outside? No, he didn't go outside. What an idiot. One of these days. One of these days. I don't have any stone going over here. That's the wrong set of stairs. Okay, we'll get a little bit more stone going on this one. I'm glad that you guys told me about the whole stone cutter thing. That's pretty sweet. Stone stairs. This will give me a whole two of those. So I need basically eight more, which is what that's doing. And then we'll be able to have the roof. Seriously, bro. The roof will be done. I'm going to... Hey, could you come back down here? Tell you what, let me move this out of the way and put... Replace the block that you keep moving. By the way, that's like the fourth time I've replaced that one block. He gets it down here and gets all trapped and can't figure it. Excuse me. Come on here. Just that's what I did last time. I just bumped into him enough times where he fell backwards down the hole. And then, you know, he just sat there and stared at me. Again, as long as you don't look at him, he's fine. Now, if you get a jack-o'-lantern, you can wear it. Put it in like your, your helmet spot and you'll wear it. And you can look at the Enderman without them getting all pissy. It's basically a way to fight them. Uh, it's also recommended to do that like when you're at the end dragon area because you can it's okay fine the ender dragon area is completely full of endermen they just run around all over the place if you put the jack lantern on your head you can run past them and they don't even really notice makes life really really simple but that's a pro tip for a long ways from now okay so that'll give us the nine that we need now we can jump up here We'll do you right there. Sounds good. We can get up to the top. Maybe not hurt ourselves. Maybe. And I think this should be able to do it as long as we don't screw up anything major. Ta-da! The actual structure of our house is done. That's nice. We got a functioning farm. We've got a roof. We got a place to keep things from spawning in on top of us. I guess let me get all these blocks back. Nice. That's looking good. Oh, good. He's down there now. You... St okay, here. Let me replace that. Stay there, would you? Just stay down there. Again, that's why I haven't put the stairs there, because he's an idiot. All right, make sure that looks okay. Yep, you're doing good. Keep all the scary things away. That looks good. I like that. I like that. And then, yeah, we'll work on getting a chunk of copper going. And then we'll... I kind of want to see what this looks like when it gets aged. I'm not entirely sure how long it takes. So that'll be one of those we'll just see, you know, when we get to that point. And, oh, um, I do want to... Excuse me. Pardon me. I want to go check something real quick. Because since I actually have the shears, I saw some light down here last time when I was dorking around down here. See, there's some glow in there, but I'm not sure. Oh, hey. Dang it. Ugh. You big idiot, you tricked me. No. You big idiot. Ugh. I was going to go... 
See, this is why you put a gate down in some places there. I was going to go down there and see if the light that was coming from there was a torch from an area I've been to before, or if it happened to be one of those lichens that grows on the rocks, because if it is, then I can just, um, you know, chop it off and take it with me. Okay, if I put you right there, I don't think you can get up right there. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Shoot your little arrow. There we go. And Dunskies. Okay, now leave me alone for a second. I wanted to see... Okay, so there's lichen there that's glowing that part up. And I'm just trying to make sure I haven't been in here. Okay, we have not been in here. Alright, I want to see what happens. Because I've never done it. Take you. And we got some lichen. Nice. Okay, let me wall you back off real quick so the idiots will stay on that side of it. <laughs> Look at that, just arrows and random blocks put anywhere. The sure sign of a battle has happened. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to worry about exploring that little mine system thing over there in the next video for sure. This is going to be wrapping up this one. I wanted to try and get my house to what I would consider done. Yes, I still need to put stairs in there, but again, I'm trying to keep my roommate from being an idiot. Can you scooch back a little bit? God. You take up too much space, sir. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. I'll just leave that there since you're so insistent anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support on this series so far. I appreciate all the kind words. You guys absolutely rock. Um, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.